Wow, chef, these banana leaves, these peppers. I know we're in Virginia, but I feel like I've been transported somewhere, somewhere very far away. Yeah, so basically you don't need a passport to go Southeast Asia. And here we have Lao Jungle right in our backyard in Northern Virginia. The loud jungle, I love it. Well, it certainly puts my backyard garden to shame. And these peppers, I'm kind of just scared looking at them, imagining <laughs> just how spicy these are. So what are you looking for um, with these with these ripe peppers? These are bird eye chilies. Um, the reason we call bird eye chilies is because of the way it's stuck up um, toward the sky. So the red one is not only has such a great heat, it also adds nice color to the dish, which is what we're gonna be doing in the kitchen later. Well, that's so cool that you're able to grow everything you need for your mm -hmm. dishes right here in your backyard. So I guess we should take the peppers back to Tip Cow and uh, get started? Yeah, let's do it. Great, Good thanks, night. Chef. Thank you. Oh, wow. So what's this, Chef? Um, this is the pork that we're going to make musom, which is a fermented pork belly. Fermented. Now, when I think of fermentation, I think of uh, pickling, I think of maybe, you know, vegetables, cucumbers. I don't think pork would have uh, come to mind. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very common in Laos because in Laos, we don't have a lot of refrigeration. So a lot of people um, tend to not just peel up vegetable or pickle vegetable. We also um, do meat with pork, fish. Uh, it could be like uh, beef as well. The main important um, for fermentation is rice. Because right. in Laos, it's, uh, rice is, sticky rice is very important for Lao culture. So I'm going to grab uh, about uh, a handful of this, and I'm adding water. And then I'm going to add garlic, and of course, salt. A little bit of sugar. Oh. And black pepper. So I'll mix it up, and I'm going to grab pork belly. So basically, we're going to give us a little massage. So I'm going to add the next piece, and I will keep massaging it, and I will add it more until we are done. And uh, how long is it going to take for this to get uh, as fermented as you'd like? In Laos, we leave it out for a few days. But here, we leave in our cooler, in our walk-in cooler, for two to three weeks. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, until we get nice fermentation. And what I um, have here is already done. Oh wow! So yeah, you, you see, see the rice has kind of like melted it into the pork. Just the aroma of it, I can already tell that yeah. it's been fermenting for yeah, a while. Yeah, it's been fermenting. So basically, it's kind of like salty and also um, sour. So I'm going to be slicing it, and I will be cooking it up in the wok to get like nice and smoky flavor. Yeah, yeah. Wait, let's give it a shot. Yeah, let's do it. All right, and it's going to be very quick, very fast, very simple. So basically, I'm going to char most of the ingredients here. So this is the ginger and onion. Now we'll toss in the pork belly. And this is the one that's been fermenting yeah. for a few weeks now? Yeah, the musong that has been fermented for a few weeks. So I will do next is adding the mushroom. I like to put the wood and mushroom in there for nice and nice texture. And the next thing is the tomato. And uh, of course, the chili from the garden. Of course. Chili from the garden, yeah. And then I will put the fish sauce mixture. I'll go down the heat. Just a little bit. And it's all set. <laughs> so much of the work is involved with fermenting it and taking weeks. All the you know work that has to go in the garden to grow the peppers. And then when it's right. time to cook, it's just. Right, it's very cooked and fast. The pan. As long as you have. Um, have a nice heat on your pan. So now we're going to top it with the herbs. The herbs are also from the garden. Well, it, it looks and smells delicious. Can't wait to try it. Yeah, sure. let's go and try it with sticky rice. OK, so um, what you do is you're going to use sticky rice as utensil, okay. as vessel. I mean, you're going to blow into a bowl, flat, like that. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it in here and just grab it like that and you just eat it. Okay, and take a little bit. Yeah. I'll be a I'll be an old pro at this in no time, chef. You make it look you so easy. Is a pole. <laughs> <laughs> grab a go. delicious piece of mm -hmm. fermented pork and here. Then, yeah, grab that and a little bit of hot pepper yeah, from the garden. I can already tell this first bite's right, gonna be hot. Cheers. Oh, that is wonderful. A little bit of heat <laughs> from mm -hmm. the pepper there. Mm -hmm. The rice, such a nice compliment. Mm -hmm. That is 
just delicious and, and nice and smoky too. So the next bite, try it with the wood ear mushroom and a piece of tomato and of course a piece of pork belly and maybe a piece of chili for the heat, <laughs> right? So you get all different textures and flavors. This is going to be a pretty stacked bite. Yeah, yeah. very stacked, yeah. <laughs> Mm. That was so good. The freshness, too, mm -hmm. of the produce and the tomatoes. And I think you should move forward to the next level. The so next you level. should try the papaya salad. Are you ready? Well, I'm yes. not sure I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I hear papaya. I'm thinking nice and sweet. I'm guessing here. Going to be another level of spice altogether. Maybe get the sauce a little bit. Okay. Yes. There you go. Oh, boy. <laughs> mm. So you get this uh, another level, which is, has a lot of also a lot of flavors that you still, you know, tasting every single ingredient in there. And I'm glad there was a little sticky rice in that bite because you're right, those peppers. Yeah. It was great to be able to pick them right from the plant, mm -hmm. but they don't mess around. They pack a lot of heat. Oh yeah, definitely. It has it has m more heat than than you thought. So all these Lao flavors, they pack such a punch. What do you see as sort of next for this Lao food movement? We had been supporting a lot of Lao community. So our future, we look forward to supporting other cultures, other countries as well, to be able to give them some sort of courage um, to be honest and true to themselves, their food, and their culture. Well, I hope a lot more people follow your lead because <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> thanks for showing me Thank the garden. You. Thanks for taking me to the kitchen. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much.